Hello, I am Daniel Leakes, and welcome to Food 101. Food, 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 people. Let's talk about food. And today, I have my co-host, no other than Chef Alessandro. Hello. Good evening. How are you? I'm fabulous like you, Chef. <laughs> <laughs> We're so excited to our third season, right? Yes, that's right. So in our celebration for our third season, I'm giving away my photography book entitled Food Art Design. Beautiful. This photography book is all about the this that I'm doing in my everyday routine in the kitchen. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I hope you like it. This will be the question. Uh, you're going to answer this question uh, through email or th- uh, the website of Food 101. There is a voice recording over there at the bottom. Uh, voice message. Just give the right answer. Or you can email to us. I will give you the email after. So the question will be, what is the favorite soup of Chef Alessandro. Oh, I know, I know, I know the answer. I, know the answer. <laughs> <laughs> I think the first episode that you came on uh, Food 101, we talked about your favorite That's soup, right. right? I think so, yes, uh, yes. If I'm not mistaken, that will be our first episode or mm. the second episode. Something like that. Yes. <laughs> so I repeat the question. What is Chef Alessandro's favorite soup. Mm. Okay, you can email me at dsl underscore at icloud.com or you go to the website of Anchor Food 101. There's a voice message over there and we are waiting for your response. Right, Sapi? Yes. <laughs> So, Steffi, for the enlightenment, can you describe your favorite soup? Well, if I describe, I'm going to tell you where is it. <laughs> <laughs> is it, is it, uh, let's say, is it a steak? Is it uh, creamy? Is it acidic or whatever? <laughs> no, I can't tell that. <laughs> oh. so uh, if I start to talk about it, then after I got to tell you where is it. Yes, you should find out on our second season probably on the second in the middle because chef came to on my podcast on the middle of a second season it's yes. so easy i think we discussed many times right chefy like yes five we times. did okay chefy and thank you for fed spot we are now at number 12 best food podcast yeah, that- on the planet chef and i uh, our goal We'll be on our third season. We'll be on number seven. Come on, Fitz. <laughs> I'll cross my finger. <laughs> cross our finger, yes. <laughs> so, Chevy, what are we going to talk about today? Uh, today we talk about the five most uh, popular sauce or the five best sauce. Yes. Or my five favorite sauce. <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> yeah. That, that's tough. Man. That's very tough. Why is that? Why well, it's very difficult to make a choice, you know, about, you know, uh, the best sauce. Because in Italy, we, we have so many speciality of sauce that, that come from uh, tradition uh, from all over Italy. That's, that's the thing. So, but again, you know, guess well one the best uh, not the best but the most important sauce uh, of, uh, yes of, italian cuisine yeah. so we're talking about top five italian sauce yes well i think uh, all region have uh, many testful recipes you know so uh, i think uh, you know of course number one for me it's always the tomato sauce you know or what you want to call uh, you want to call marinara we go back to the the Last uh, last episode, <laughs> pescatore. <laughs> yeah. So I think you know, number one for me, it's tomato sauce because from that one, you know, you can take out, uh, you can make so many different other other recipes. Of sure. course. Yes. You know, 
And uh, let's say uh, for number two, I would say maybe a pescatore, a scoglio, allo scoglio. It's, you know, a seafood pasta. Since the Italy is surround of uh, almost completely surround of, uh, of sea, or Mediterranean Sea, Adriatic, Tirreno, you know? Yes. Uh, so we got lots of uh, seafood, you know? So then the scoglio, it's, uh, you know, seafood pasta, like a pescatore. It's, uh, it's uh, a good sauce. Yes, it's a variation of the tomato sauce. With... That's right, but I was thinking most like a garlic olive oil base, you no, know, like a white scoglio. Because you can make it both ways. You can make it with tomato, you can make it with, uh, you know, just oil, oil base. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Que so that's, bono. that's very good. If it's a summertime, I would suggest with cherry tomato. Oh, it would be very, very good. Yes, that will be a good combination. That's right. Now, so of course... I... Then after you're gonna need the number three a bolognese sauce. Bolognese. Yes, you need a meat sauce, you know. Uh, yes. Or how to say in uh, ragu alla napoletana. It's it's uh, uh, kind of similar of a bolognese almost, you know. Yes, the variation too. Yes, it's depend of this part of the Italy we are. Then I will say number four uh, pesto. Of course, you need a pesto genovese. You know? Of course, the famous. But, <laughs> like I say, I remember if you remember the, the the episode that we have with the pesto, we can talk about you know different kind of pesto too, like yes. you know Sicilian pesto, you know wherever you go, that it's part of Italy. It's got different kind. Napolitani pesto. Yes, and of course number five, I would say you know a quattro formaggio. You know quattro formaggio. Mm. It's, uh, you need a creamy you know creamy pasta, and then with all the cheese that we have in Italy. You know, you got uh, gorgonzola, parmigiano, uh, robbiola, uh, asiago, cacio cavallo, mozzarella, fontina. Oh my God, how many we got? <laughs> a lot of cheese. <laughs> yeah. So you can make uh, a nice quattro formaggio sauce, of course. It's, uh, sì. Definitely. Practically my five, uh, my five best, uh, you know, combination. Italian sauce, mm. yes. So let's review them. At number one. At uh, number one, pomodoro sauce. Pomodoro. Number two. Number two, scoglio o pescatora. Number three. Bolognese. At number four. Pesto. And at number five. Quattro formaggi. All those four sauces that you mentioned, they are all tomato based. Are uh, you... Not really. Uh, well, yes. Uh, if you think pescatura, you're going to uh, make an oil base, it's no uh, tomato. And then the pesto, it's uh, green anyway. The okay. quattro formaggio, it's cream. So at the end, you got bolognese and tomato sauce at the end. So only two. Oh, uh, okay. So in Italy, they are preferred tomato base or a uh, cream sauce? Well, uh, hmm. I think, yeah, people like tomato sauce, of course, in Italy. Italian people yeah. like tomato sauce. Yes. Uh, but uh, I grew up in a family then, you know, that we, we eat pasta, you know, just aglio, olio, peperoncino, you know, garlic, olive oil and chili pepper. Uh, most of the time it's very easy fast uh, especially for lunchtime that you don't have too much time but for special occasion of course my mom she's going to cook that sauce for hours and hours over there cooking <laughs> making sure that <laughs> the tomato sauce has got the right you know power on it yes yeah, yeah i think i think uh, italian people like tomato sauce yes yes because i i observe Sefi, uh, italian cuisine are more on tomato sauce base but in French cuisine, they are more on white base, right? Mm, cream yes. and heavy cream. So, so it's one of the trademark of uh, Italian cuisine are tomato sauce. Mm, yes. And so, Sheppy, all those sauces that you mentioned, mm -hmm. can you give us at least five uses of those sauces? Five uses? Uh, of yes. Tomato sauce, you can make... Uh, oh. Tons of recipe with tomato sauce, not yeah. just with pasta, eh? Yes. Even pizza. with meat, with fish, uh, with pizza, of course, yes. Why not? And, and we'll talk about pizza. You mm. can use uh, a pesto sauce for pizza. You can use even a quattro formaggio pizza. Oh, my. A quattro yeah. formaggio pizza, it's uh, amazing. And you know what? Yes. My, my daughter, she showed me, you know, this 
she start to put uh, uh, honey on top of the quattro formaggio pizza. Okay. Oh, it's unbelievable good. <laughs> it's <laughs> unbelievable. Oh, to die for it's amazing. I never try when I I never think about it before. When then uh, 10 years, 15 years ago, my daughter, hey, try this one there, try this one there. And then she, she put the um uh, the honey on top of the uh, the quattro formaggio pizza. Said, oh my god, that's amazing. <laughs> hey, Bono. Yes. A, so they think your daughter will be the, the next executive chef. Uh, <laughs> the no, she took a different road. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe, maybe I got a chance with my second one. <laughs> I, I hope so. Oh. I hope so. I look at it. She spent lots of time in the kitchen lately with the mother. So um, maybe, maybe. My son maybe. forgot about it. He likes only eat. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about quattro formaggio. How yes. to do the quattro formaggio sauce? Okay, I get, uh, make a very simple, easy, so uh, everybody can make anyway. Well, just, you know, I, I like to put a little bit garlic on it, just, just a little bit, just to make it the, a little flavor on it. And uh, let's say uh, black pepper and cream. Then, yes. then you just cut it off, any kind of cheese you, find, you got. Of course, you always need a kind of creamy cheese, like a robiola or, uh, let's say, um, uh, yeah, for the free time people, a robiola is the best because it's nice and creamy. It's a, yes. it's a mix of cow, goat, and sheep milk. So it's, it's oh. very, very, very nice, very, very good flavor. And expensive too, eh? <laughs> uh, a little bit, yeah, sorry. <laughs> okay. Uh, then, of course, uh, you, got, you need a parmigiano. Of course, mm -hmm. because you need the, 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 the Parmigiano flavor. And the Gorgonzola, then it's up to you, Dolce or Picante. The, prefer Dolce for the, for the pasta because you don't want to pass the flavor of the other cheese. Yes. Uh, but, you know, some people like a little bit, you know, strong and the, on the taste. So maybe Gorgonzola Picante would be good too. And then, of course, you need a nice hard cheese, like Asiago, Cacio Cavallo, and a little bit, you know. If you got some mozzarella cheese, just put that one too in. There we go. <laughs> How about pecorino, chef? Pecorino, yes, it's good. Pecorino, pecorino is good. Some people they put pecorino. So it good. depends of this of the area that we live. We put Rockets. different kind of cheese on it, mm. you know. And uh, yeah, in Rome we can put pecorino cheese. Why not? Because it's it's ours anyway. Or in Sardegna, Sardegna pecorino sardo. It's yes. The same thing. Yes, of yes. course. Oh, my favorite cheese in Italy is gorgonzola. Ah, oh. uh, gorgonzola, yes. Uh, you know, when I, when I grew up, when I was younger, I, I didn't like too much gorgonzola, even because my, my family doesn't eat too much gorgonzola. But then when I start to work uh, in this industry, then I start to appreciate the flavor of the cheese, you know? Yes. And uh, no, it was good because after a bit, you start to learn, uh, you know, how to eat this kind of cheese. Yes. How to appreciate them. That's right. That's right. Just like wine. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, and that, if you if you uh, if you combine cheese and wine, it would be amazing. Yeah? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> of course. You know, I was working in Japan actually in a, in a, in an Italian wine bar, and uh, actually I opened that the, the restaurant with the, in the hotel where I was working. And the, the Italian wine bar, we have so many uh, wine to adjust to fix to match with the cheese. It was very good. Yes. So, Shafi, uh, for all those sauces. Are we uh, putting all them, let's say, tomato base? If you do the tomato sauce, uh, the history of tomato sauce, you uh, put bone in it and stuck, put stuck on it. Is it the same thing in Italy? Uh, uh, in, you... in making the tomato sauce, they put lots of stocks, you know, uh, beef stock or chicken stock. No, 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 no. no. If, uh, you know, if you talk with uh, uh, maple, uh, uh, originally Naples uh, citizen, <laughs> it will say to you, don't even put the stock on. <laughs> no, just simple yeah. garlic, olive oil, fresh basil, and nice, nice uh, uh, ramato tomato or San Marzano tomato. It's, uh, that's it. That's, that's the flavor you give. Flavor, yes. Simple tomato sauce. That's that's the very that's, the best one. The yes, best. that's it. So if you think about it, after that, you, when you got the base of tomato sauce, you can make so many other sauces. You know, like, uh, like for example, for example in, uh, we make a madrigiana, we can make uh, so many kinds. Yes. I was saying that uh, Italian cuisine is simple but delicious. Yes. And simple always go, that doesn't go wrong, okay? Yes. Simple, it's always good.
you know yeah. uh, simple is simple to make easy to prepare you know uh, and then that is when you enjoy you know the simplicity on the table you know make you feel so good yes you know? that's true that's why you enjoy that's when you enjoy eating the food that's correct yes so so Shafi, all oh, for all those um sauces Mm. Uh, for the beginners, uh, can they do that as as uh, what they call this as easy as one, two, three? Uh, okay, I would say yeah, tomato sauce. Absolutely, I think they can make a nice one, two, three, no problem. And even the quattro formaggi you can create by yourself. You know, uh, it's uh, they can easy. You know, it's it's easy. They can uh, in, you know, uh, it's a nice challenge. But when you start to go, maybe uh, with the scoglio pescatore, they have to cook the seafood, then maybe sometimes you cook too much, get hard, you know, you got to keep soft, you know, you have to know, you know, how to, uh, the consistency of the, you know, of the sauce, even for the bolognese, you know, for the meat sauce, uh, you need a little bit more experience. But otherwise, no, you can try. Yes. I always, I say to all my my staff, even try. You know, you know, try doesn't kill nobody. You know, and uh, you know, more you try, uh, better you become. Yes. You know, in this, in, especially in this industry. You know, maybe you know. The, I told you a long time ago. You know, my first uh, my first uh, experience in the kitchen it was a disaster. <laughs> <laughs> so I uh, see remember, don't even yes. my chicken eat it that one. <laughs> <laughs> so, Why is that? Yeah, it was horrible. It was an, I, I still remember it was an antipasto, something. Like, so yeah, something like that. That I tried at school and I, fo I followed the rest. It didn't came out good at all. It was a disaster. Horrible. So, I, I always believe, you know, more you try and more you succeed in your life, and the more uh, better better you become. And uh, you know, especially for the new generation that they want to do this job, don't uh, give up right away because something doesn't come out good. Keep sure. doing it. Keep doing it. And uh, don't ever stop because you know if you stop you give up. It's, you know your dream will go. There is no, no, no nowhere. Dreams, you know nowhere. <laughs> That's right. They don't know nowhere. Yes. Try and try until you succeed. As they absolutely, say. absolutely. And uh, this kind of work or industry, the more you get older, the more you become better. Of course, I believe you know we never stop learning. Absolutely, sure. especially in this job. Yes, just compare ourselves. If you're a chef or you're a cook, compare to yourself as a uh, cheese or wine. The more they get older, they get more perfect, and yes, the aroma, the taste is become que bono. Yes, yes, <laughs> have to be. Yes, <laughs> have to be. <laughs> so, Shafi. What else we can say about the five sauces that you mentioned? Oh, well, they're good. <laughs> yes, you should try it. Yeah, should... no, no, of course. You know, if uh, of, I always say, if somebody wants to know how to do it, you know, we can, you know, uh, make one, one, one of our podcasts just about one kind of sauce if they prefer to hear about more the quattro formaggi or the more they want to talk about more bolognese, you know. Yes. Keep keep and uh, uh, explain how to do it to, to our audience, of course. True. We we talk already about tomato sauce or marinara yes. sauce. Yes. Uh, pescatore not yet, right? No, Shabby? yet. So we had to yeah. do that one. Yes, absolutely. One oh. of these day. Yes, one of these day. The other one. Quattro oh. formaggio not yet. Quattro formaggio not yet. The pesto we did the pesto. The other one, Chappy. Oh, that's yeah. the five one, right? Yeah, it was uh, the formaggio pesto, bolognese, pescatora, and... Uh... Yeah, bolognese, we did already. Yes. So three of, of the five sauces that Chef mentioned, we did discuss the three uh, sauces. Yes. Except for pescatore and... Quattro formaggio, we got to do it still. Yes. Yes. It's going gonna, it's gonna to happen. It's going to happen one of these days. Definitely. That will be happening on our third season. Yes, fantastic. Yes, and uh, we are for your answer for our questions of the month mm -hmm. for in in celebration of our third season. Yes. Shout out to the people listening 
for these countries. We are, this is our top 11 to 20. At number 11, Singapore. Wow, Singapore, nice. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you. Of course, at number 12, Italy. Oh, wow, my Paisani. Grazie <laughs> mille tutto. <laughs> At number 13, Bangladesh. Wow, Bangladesh, nice. Thank you so much, Thank Asia. Thank you. At number 14, Romania. Romania, oh, Romania. Yes, wow. Europe. Europe. You're right, Sebi. At number 15, Czech Republic. Wow. Number 16, Japan. Oh, konnichiwa. Arigato gozaimasu. Yes, uh, we shout out to them already, right, Chefi? Uh, yes. All those places in Japan. Arigato. And... Arigato saimas, hoi. And <laughs> at number 17, India. India. Oh, we have a lot of followers in India. There's a lot of places in India, Chefi. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, one of this episode, we're going to shout out to them all the places in India. Wow. And at number 18, Netherlands. Netherlands. Oh, oh so nice country, Shafi. Yes. Netherlands. And at number 19, of course, New Zealand. New Zealand. Oh, oh there's, wow. There's a lot of places in New Zealand. Yes. Listening to us. And at number 20, we are always on the top, I think, 57 of this in Austria. Austria. Oh, beautiful Austria. Yes. Thank you so much. Those are 11 to 20 countries that are listening to us. Thank you very much. Next time, I'm going to do 20 to 1 to 30. So we're going to do, until we finish the 112 countries listening to us, we're going to shout out at you. And thank you so much for supporting this podcast. Perfect. Thank you very much. We promise you our podcast will be bigger, better, bolder. bolder. Thank you, Shabby. Thank you very much. And more to come, people. See you soon.